on, Latur district, primarily Algerian populace, is enduring a protracted drought. In this scenario, planting of sugarcane, its staple source of income, has become unsustainable. The local administration is putting in place a measure to ensure compulsory use of drip and sprinkler irrigation for sugarcane. But farmers say this scheme will only work if the payment of subsidies is done on time. As part of a special series with Ailing Rural India, Alexander Matthew files this report from Latour. Sugarcane, it's one of the biggest contradictions in rain-parched Maharashtra. Farmers say that it requires as much water in one year as other crops require in four. Yet, they persist with it because it guarantees them a return. Sugarcane is a more economically viable option than other crops. People look at sugarcane as a stable source of income. If farmers have to turn towards other crops, they need to get income that is adequate enough. A large number of sugar factories in the vicinity has made sugarcane a preferred crop for farmers in Latur over the years. But a two-year drought has taken away some of the sheen. During this period, the total area under sugarcane cultivation has shrunk by half. The district administration says it has intervened to assist struggling sugarcane farmers who want to make a shift. There is no doubt that uh, sugarcane consumes quite a huge amount of water. We are promoting other um, uh, alternative crops uh, like um, uh, mixed crops, and uh, sequential croppings that includes soybean, uh, groundnut, then harbara, then uh, jar. But for those who insist on continuing with sugarcane, the government is making the use of water efficient irrigation methods like drip or sprinkler mandatory. Only 10% of the total 6 lakh hectares of arable land in Latur is irrigated through canals and a large part is under sugarcane cultivation. But with dams drying up, efficient use of water resources is essential. We have also asked banks and also earmarked some amount of funds in our annual credit plan to provide loan for drips and irrigation also. If, if uh, it is more than 45 crore rupees, uh, if some farmers want to grow more sugar cane, but they will be given loan for sugarcane only if they take sugarcane through drip or sprinklers. Farmers agree that drip irrigation is needed, but say that similar schemes in the past have not been helpful. All farmers understand the necessity of drip irrigation for sugarcane, but the cost involved is a lot. Farmers have spent their own money and installed drip as the administration promised to help and give subsidies, but they haven't received the money in time. Farmers have not received subsidies for three to four years, and it is because of this that the farmers are losing faith in these schemes. The installation of drip and sprinkler irrigation would lead to long-term benefits. But the short-term requirement of funds for the next season is currently a bigger concern for farmers. And therein lies the problem. Some may call the farmer myopic, but the reality is that the sugarcane situation is a vicious circle. And unless it becomes more feasible for the farmer to plant other crops, that circle isn't going to break. With camera person Bhaskar Savant in Latur district, Alexander Matthew.